So a lot of people have been talking about the TP-Link Amata wireless system against Unify. They've been comparing the price, um, comparing the software or the controller interface, uh, as well as comparing the specs. But nobody's actually showing you real data, which is all that matters. So the specs say both of these are 1300 megabits. Um, but as we know with gigabit, you know, this is only going to do one gig. So to get that extra 300 megabit, at least these guys stuck two ports um, so that they can actually do that. Where the TP-Link, even though it's rated at 1300 with a single port, there's no way you could ever get 1300 megabit through the single port into your device. But now let's look at real world data. So we're going to start with um, a bandwidth test. So this is the laptop hardwired to a computer running uh, iPerf server on it, which is what we're going to record. And so we'll do a single stream. And that's pretty good for a gigabit hardwired connection. I'm going to do four streams next and see if it makes a difference. So it's sending four streams worth of data at a time and 940 ish seems pretty well okay and so now i'm going to disconnect the hardwire and i'm going to connect to the unify connect it to the unify Do a single stream and we're hitting around 180 megabits and then we'll do four streams and we're hitting around 300. Okay. I'm going to disconnect from Unify. I'm going to connect to the TP link. We'll run this test again. This is a single stream from on the TP link. So it's doing around 300 meg. And then we will run it with four streams. That's a huge difference. So we're hitting around 500 megabit. So that is a big difference uh, between the AC Pro and this TP-Link uh, EAP225. All right, so I gotta, I gotta run this test again just because uh, I wasn't expecting uh, 500 meg through the TP-Link. So I just reconnected to the Unify. I'm going to run the test again with four streams. Yeah, we're only hitting 300 megabit. And then I'm going to reconnect to the TP-Link and run that test again with four streams. 400. Okay, so, wow. I gotta do it again. Yep, so it's, it's, looks like it's consistently over 400 or 500 megabit. Wow, that's pretty good. The one negative I did notice is I moved it to another network behind a firewall and this guy connected up, no problem, the Unify. But on the Amada, it's showing disconnected and it won't reconnect, even though it can talk to this, right? This computer's behind the firewall, it can talk to it, no problem. If I come look at the settings on the Amada controller, you know, you can see the host controller is this. So this is what it should be talking to, but for some reason, it can't. Um, so I'm not sure how this would work as far as pre-configuring these devices with the idea of shipping them out to another location. Um, maybe if the controller was using a URL 
um, it would be able to phone home from anywhere, but from what I can see here, it doesn't seem to work that way based off the IP address, even though I can talk. It should be able to pull down the config and check in, but it's not. Um, I'll double check the firewall, make sure it's not blocking anything, but this is like a default config, everything wide open. The Unify controller doesn't have any issues connecting to it, so I would assume that the TP-Link shouldn't either. So based on the uh, price, this guy cost less than half the price of this guy alone. Um, so you could easily you know, purchase more of these to cover the area that you need. Um, and I'll, I'll do some more testing as far as the mesh capability on this device. Um, Cause I know these guys mesh well, uh, do it island mode and all that kind of stuff is really simple. So I'm gonna come back and test this, but peer bandwidth, um, this guy is much more bang for the buck. Um, I'm gonna set up my entire home network with my IOT devices and all that kind of stuff on here and see if we can saturate this with devices and slow it down. But uh, just off initial testing, this guy is super fast compared to this guy. Um, and this was in comparison with my laptop and phone connected to this one as well as my laptop and phone and those being the only devices. So we'll see how it goes.